because there's a grooming process in narcissistic abuse. And the grooming is just done over time, slowly, 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 slowly. You know, though we can look back and say, yeah, it was, it was, it was several little points that I didn't see, that I didn't catch, that this toxic narrative that got so bad towards the end could have been stopped much, 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 much earlier. But the reality is, is we just didn't see it at the time. It just wasn't on our radar until things got that bad. And when they get that bad, that's when changes happen. So this process that, you know, you're going through is, is a normal process because it's happening to you and it's also happening to thousands of other people. And it's only now that we're starting to get the language to I, understand it better and identify it. And it's really hard to understand sometimes, you know, this emotional turmoil that the narcissistic abuse just kind of thrusts upon us. In our brains, our brains just kind of get scrambled like an egg and just beat up and then mixed in with all these other ingredients, all these toxic tactics that just kind of get mixed up and then fried up. And we remember what we were. And we look back at what, what, what's become of us. It's like it's no wonder that we're left just feeling bewildered and disoriented and just constantly questioning what's real. And the big problem is, is that all this confusion is generated in order to just make our lives more complicated and keep us trapped in these manipulative games. It is this narcissistic maze of manipulation and mind games and enormous amounts of deceit. And what to a survivor, what's happening is desperately just trying to hang on to anything, <laughs> anything that feels that it isn't, that is truth, that is real. Just grasping onto truth in this delusional world of narcissism where everything feels like it's an illusion. 